welcome back to Two Hours in a Trench Coat. I am in Hearts 3, and today we are back in Dragon Age Origins. Uh, last time we just did quests, we resolved some things, got everything all settled. So now we are ready to move forward to the Anvil of the Void. But first, we're going to head to Orton Taig to pick up the last remaining part of the admirable Topsider quest, and then we'll head to the Dead Trenches deal with him, and then we'll go to the Anvil of the Void. Alright, let's get started. I'm really glad you don't have to fight people on the way to the different tags in the deep roads. Like, that's amazing. Thank you. I really would hate if I had to fight anybody on the way to these already uh, when scary places. Care to partake of Ogren's fine homebrew? It's the drink of the gods. Mm, ale, is it? And I hope it's brewed hygienically? Of course. I may not know clean from a beggar's ass when it comes to most things, but I don't mess around with my ale. Very well, let's have a taste. Well, well, what do you think? Mm, very nice. Ah, you like it? <laughs> well, I never... Attractive amber color, nutty flavor, slightly sweet, just a hint of toastiness. There's some spice to it I'm finding hard to place. Yes, yes. Is it cloves? Cloves! Ha <laughs> ha! By the stone, you're a lady after my own heart. If I weren't buckled in this armor, I'd take you around the corner and, well, you know. Give me more ale. <laughs> Oh, that's precious. I don't think I've ever gotten that interaction between those two. Because I know Wen likes wine. Like, that's one of the gifts that you can give her. Oh, we left some stuff. Some money. How terrible of us. These spiders are just handing out coin and we're just leaving it behind. Well, it's spiders, so I can understand that. But yeah, she likes wine, so, you know... That kind of makes sense. That was really nice. So cute. Okay. If I'm remembering correctly, it's in one of these caves? Is this it? Please don't let this be a trap. Okay, yes. Warrior's Grave. Admirable Topsider. Nice. And Lifestone. Okay, yeah. We totally missed that with all the ogres and the dark spawn and the spiders. And even more spiders. Alright, to the dead trenches. It's also great that nothing respawns. I mean, I might be speaking too early, but... From what I've seen, nothing respawns. And that in and of itself is beautiful. Truly, truly beautiful. Alright, and then after our long trek, we find this ancient dark spawn here. It's a fine thing we've done. Dang, Shale. Shall be done. Very well, I shall do it. It is the end. Nice. Alright, and he should drop the topsider's blade. Ooh, three sovereign. Nice, I'll take that. And then Yep, you found all the pieces of the Topsider sword. Returning it to his corpse may bring him some peace. Topsider's final resting place is in the cave east of Orton Taig. I mean, at this point you would have known that because you had to go to his grave in the first place. So he's a pretty tough boss, the ancient dark spawn. 
And usually if you did things in the correct order, you'd have to fight him alongside of everything else. And I'm pretty sure spiders show up and then there's the dark spawn that you already have to deal with. So just be careful and take caution fighting him. Bring a mage. You know. Alright, and now that our business is concluded there, we can finally, oh finally, head to the Anvil of the Void. Anvil of the Void, the ancient smithy of Keridan, a dwarven paragon renowned for creating the lost art of making golems. Ford. So at this point, it's kind of like a point of no return or the point before the point of no return. Because once you start traversing into the tunnels, you there's no coming there's no going back until you finish your business at the Anvil of the Void. So if Bronca okay. is anywhere, this has to be it. She will not be unprepared. Okay, as Augren has told us, she will not be unprepared. What was oh. that? Someone's locked the doors. Let me be blunt with you. After all this time, my tolerance for social graces is fairly limited. That doesn't bother you, I hope. Well, shave my back and call me an elf. Bronca, by the stone, I barely recognized you. Ogryn, it figures you'd eventually find your way here. Hopefully you can find your way back more easily. And how shall I address you? Hired sword of the latest lordling to come looking for me? Or just the only one who didn't mind Ogren's ale breath? Be respectful, woman. You're talking to a Grey Warden. Ah, so an important errand boy, then. Wow. I suppose something serious has happened. Is Enrin dead? That seems most likely. He was on the old and wheezy side. Okay, just kind of dismissing all of that. I didn't think her to be on a good side but as we noted she's locked the doors we can't leave that's how we get locked in it's not like a hey you kind of show up and you just are so dedicated to the cause that you just won't leave no she locks the freaking doors how do you know i'm not just helping ogren because nobody helps ogren at best ogren's need to find me happened to coincide with the needs of someone more important Ah, you are impossible! This Grey Warden's come all the way from the surface to ask your help picking Endrin's successor! I don't care if the Assembly puts a drunken monkey on the throne. Because our protector, our great invention, the thing that once made our armies the envy of the world, is lost to the very dark spawn it should be fighting. The Anvil of the Void! The means by which the ancients forged their army of golems and held off the first archdemon ever to rise. It's here. So close I can taste it. But of course, there's a catch. The anvil lies on the other side of a gauntlet of traps designed by Keridan himself. My people and I have given body and soul to unlocking its secrets. This is what's important. This has lasting meaning. If I succeed, the dwarven people benefit. Kings, politics, all that is transitory. I've given up everything and would sacrifice anything to get the Anvil of the Void. And here's where what Hespeth was talking about comes full circle. So, a few episodes ago, we went through the, jet, the dead trenches and we came across Hespeth, who was in the verge of becoming a broad mother. Bronca willingly let her people be tainted by the darkspawn in order to create more darkspawn so they could get through the traps in the Anvil of the Void. That's the betrayal that Hespeth is talking about. She literally betrayed everyone in her house in order to achieve her goal. That's her obsession. And it's just like, wow. Does that include Hespeth and the others of your house? Enough questions. If you wish me to get involved with this imbecilic election, I must first have the anvil. There's only one way out, Warden. Forward. Through Keridan's maze, and out to where the anvil waits. What has this place done to you? I remember marrying a girl you could talk to for one minute and see her brilliance. I am your paragon. 
All right, so Bronca's lost it. Cool. Okay, so we are trapped in here, basically. We're trapped in here. Bronca's hiding out, waiting for us to make our way through the gauntlet, I guess, so she can get the anvil of the void. Oh man, it's just rivers and rivers of lava. Where the lava? Was the lava? No, I kind of answered my own question. I was going to ask if it's always been here, but seeing how far down these structures go, it seems that it's not recent, but it's here now. Alright, oh gosh. The dwarf corpse with money. I needed people to test Keridan's traps. There's no way to break through except by trial and error. I sent them in. They were all mine, pledged to be my house, and they didn't want to help. They tried to leave me, even my Hespeth. But even she couldn't understand that when you reach for greatness, there are sacrifices, as many sacrifices as are needed. It's kind of like one of those do the end, justify the means type thing. The scales aren't even. She's killing her, she killed basically her entire house. To acquire the anvil of the void. And all those innocent lives for nothing. Okay, we're up here with up. Oh. Just dark spawn. Right. I shall do it. Very well. Uh, don't give them the advantage. As you say, it shall be done. <laughs> 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 Where are you going? Watch out! It shall be. Oh. Okay, I think we're done. She shouldn't have gone. She was pledged to me. She swore she'd do whatever it took to find the anvil. There was no other choice. Most of them were dying of the taint already, but some, some of the women were transforming. I knew what they would become. There would be an endless supply, fresh dark spawn to test the traps. They could still serve me, let me find the anvil. It was the only way. A lot of money. Concentrated venom. Alright, so as she said, most of them were transforming into, um, into broad mothers. Most of them were ghouls, probably. And as she said, they can still serve her, so they're still useful to her. The barrel. Is there an injury kit? An Illyrium vein. Oh, um. Here I am. Okay, that'd be useful. I don't know if. The... Should you be taking from pure Illyrium? I mean, I don't know the how mages and us. stuff work, but. Yeah, probably be it careful be with done. that one. It shall be done. It is begun. I mean, we should all be careful, except for Ogren. He's a dwarf, say. and dwarves can handle Quickly, raw Illyrium. Oh gosh, it's necessary. I shall oh shoot. Okay, I guess first part of the gauntlet, we're just fighting through Darkspawn. So let's... You have no idea how they carried on, holding my hand and begging to die. They had pledged me their loyalty. They had no right to fight me. They say your order is renowned for its wits as well as its brawn. Perhaps you'll do better than my poor clansmen. There's something about this place. It makes people despair. Mm-mm-mm. Watch out. Oh, cool. There's an ogre. Are you gonna punch him? Shale? Uh. Uh. What in the world? As 
Okay. I don't know why that wasn't activating. That's never happened before. But fight's over now, so I guess we just move on and keep it fighting. Begun. I shall do it. I shall be done. It's begun. I shall do it. Very well. Like where are they going? Like, they go really far, and then they turn around? I thought there were two over there. Oop. I don't need Valyrium. Oh, this is not good. Concentrated Venom and Concentrated Death Root Extract. Okay, but we'll just keep moving the best we can. Oh, there's golems in here as well. It is begun. All right, let them come to us. I shall do it very well. It shall be done as you say. I shall do it. It shall be done. It is begun very well. All right, we got. Oh no, I didn't mean to take that. We can just throw it out. Another dwarf corpse. Darkspawn corpse. Leather helm on a dwarf corpse. Man, there are, she's just... She just threw her entire house into here. But I wonder where the golems came from. Did she have golems or were they already here? Uh, what's... Okay, I'll save the game. I'll save the game, okay? Don't you scare me by saving the game out of nowhere, game. Okay, so now we're on to the second trap. It seems like there's gas. It seems like there's gas, so probably poisonous gas, obviously. Alright, so there's a few ways to go about this. Um, of course, I'm going to tell you guys how to go about this before I actually get in there, because once I get in there, it's fight or flight, and all of those reasonings might go out the window. So, killing- in this room, there's golems, and when you first enter the room, all the golems will come to life one by one, and in order to unlock the door on the other side, you kill the golems. Or, you can unlock the door with the high cunning, but there's also some gas valves, that should stop the gas, making it easier so you don't have to worry about your health and then the golems fighting you and everything. I have Wen with me because she knows Stone Fist and Stone Fist knocks down golems. So, with that being said, whatever is going to happen is going to happen. Fire Flag is going to kick in something fierce. There's poison gas. What are you going to do? Like, oh, unlocking the door, I don't think stops the gas. So, we'll just have to be as careful as possible. Let me see, do I have a map? Okay, there's these two closed doors. I'm pretty sure, if I remember correctly, that's where the gas valves are, so we're gonna see about those first. Okay, let's move. Oh man, I'm stunned. Okay, there we go. I closed the gas valves. So all the gas is gone so you can now concentrate on the golems. Direct me. I think we should be safe actually for a moment. Can you use stone fist? There we go. Alright. Shoot, another one's a little gun. If you it shall be done. I shall do it. It is begun. As you say. It shall be done. 
Where did you use Mark of Death? Alright, never mind. Forget it, forget it. No use complaining about it. Alright. Everyone else is down. You don't have to fight them if you get done. Well, you probably will, actually. I'm not all too sure. I always end up fighting them, so there's... No, ooh, my gosh. Two Sovereign, um, thanks. Yeah, I'll take it with me. Is there anything behind these doors? Nope, these doors are just decoration. Alright, cool. And now the door's open. Uh, if you have, I'm pretty sure I've already said it, if you have a high cunning, you can unlock the door, no problem. So, yeah. There's a dwarf corpse. Man, he made it past the golems. Take the money. Okay, this should be the third trap. So the third trap is a hallway with golems on each side. And there's two blade traps. Just as the previous golem stone fist knocks them down. And since they activate two at a time, you can just use stone fist. And then wait for it to recharge. And then Look probably there, when the, the next iteration shows up, then that. Okay, I think I'm gonna have them wait. Hold position real quick. Alright, cool. More and enemies then... ahead! Shoot. Oh, I'm getting a rock thrown at me. Okay. Yeah. Ouch. Very well. As you say, he's begun. I shall do it. Very well. Okay, so these golems are harder than the ones in the previous room. He's begun. I shall do it. As you say, he's begun. Oh, nice. Alright. You guys gonna drop anything? You guys got money? An injury kit? That's cool, too. And some money! Thanks! Just not mean to pay the trap. Enemies approaching! Nope, enemies approaching. Um, here comes the boulders again. Hide! Ah! Ouch! It shall be done. Freaking ouch. Very well. I shall do it. Are you guys not the whole position anymore? It shall be done. It is begun. As you say. I don't know why I keep using stun. Oh man, he resisted the deadly striker. They resisted the deadly strike. Well, I would hope this dead stone golem resisted whatever that was. The stun thing. Do you have anything? No? That's what I thought. An injury kit. Okay. So let's deal with this level up. More lyrium. This cannot be safe. It's awfully pretty, but it just shouldn't be safe. Alright, so this is the fourth. And I'm pretty sure final trap. The fourth and final trap. Whoa. Yes, thanks for saving. Whoa. I remember this. So some things, you know, when it's been a really long time since you've played something and then you get back into it and you repress some memories and some things go with it that you don't really mean to go with. This is one of those things. I remember this. It's one of the most beautiful place, beautiful places in the entire game for me, personally. Because it's just lyrium. The way they did lyrium on the ceilings of the deep roads makes it seem like it's not just some dead hovel filled with nightmare creatures and darkness. It's actually kind of pretty filled with stones that also could lead to death if handled wrong. But it's still very pretty to look at. Okay, but this is known as the Spirit Apparatus, which is also a very tricky kind of encounter. 
in the center is the spirit apparatus. The spirit apparatus has four heads. The four heads spin around clockwise and at a 90 degree angle. So, within the name, there are going to be spirits. The spirits will not attack unless attacked or if a party member gets close to them. The menu, there's a way to tweak the tactics of each character. You can tweak them so they don't like attack spirits if they don't have to. Wish me luck, because I totally forget this entire encounter. Wild. Enemies He's like approaching. one glowing oh, eye is. still. Okay. Me. As you say, I shall do it. Forgotten spirit. Well. So these forgotten spirits are going to battle. Very powerful. Hold on. Let's. No, 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 no. All right. So I should have them hold position so they don't run off. Come back here. Come back here. Come back here. What now? No, don't attack him. Don't attack him. Don't attack him. <gasps> Immediately. Gosh, okay. As you so say. we're going to keep moving. Just don't order me. Get over there. Get over there. Get over if there. It must. Get over there. As you say. And you as well. Shoot. All right, it's gonna be, it's difficult trying to have them hold position and then move everyone around while trying to defeat the stone spirit, then activating the um, the anvil to deal damage. If you defeat the stone spirit and you have them holding position and you can do it quickly enough, you can rotate through all of them while paused, like with the, um, the stone pill at the stone altar for the Asunder quest. If you have them all activated, it should F count for all four characters and deal damage to that stone pillar. Well, the stone face. Shoot, if I knew that thing was going to show up. It shall be done. Oh, then you ran? That's cheating. Alright, let's move over to the other one. Very well. I shall do it. As you say. Very well. I shall do it. It is begun. Great, now it's just it an all out monster brawl. Very well, it shall be done. Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up! Get up. Look! Where's the music? Time to dance! The task is finished. It is begun. I shall do it. I shall do it. It shall be done. Uh, Phil hasn't moved in a little bit. Very well. And I don't know where Ogren is. Quickly, okay, he's over we there. Fight. Oh, I am far too ah! for this. We must gain the advantage. Finished. <laughs> What's that smell? Ah! Oh, say. All right, let's go over here. What now? This. <laughs> Shoot, can't rotate that way. Very well. Don't give them the advantage. As you say. I shall do it. Very well. As you say. Oh man, they're all over here. A little queasy. I shall do it. Oh no! Shoot, I wasn't looking at my health. We must drink polis. Drink polis. Drink polis. Your orders? Can you? All right, drink your polis first. Drink a potion. And and then, where's revival? Revive? Can you revive me? Where am I? Does that work? Like putting health on screen? I don't think so. More enemies ahead. 
Okay. Shoot. All right. They called back one. I am done. Attack that one. All right. Those eyes are closed, so he's dead. Let's all attack one at the same time. As you say. I need you to. What is this? Rock salve increases the armor and physical resistance, but decreases. All oh, right, and attack speed. Um, I think I should really go for attack speed at the moment. Very well. Yeah, let's end this now. It is beginning. Shale has not moved. Do it. There we go. It okay. is over. Okay, they are also dead. Come over here. It shall be done, as you say. He's trying to heal himself. Let's not do that. As you say, it is begun. It shall be done. Very well. Finished. Uh, and that's that. Time for a drink. Yeah, you're absolutely correct. Time for a freaking Let us drink. Be careful. Here. I don't what actually now? think I did anything. Okay, so if done correctly and in order or in an orderly way, that could be an E. No, it's straight up difficult. So the way you can tell is the eyes glowing purple means that they've taken zero damage. Because I was kind of lucky that Ogryn and Wen kind of went off on their own and defeated the other two. While Shale and I, I think it was Shale and I, Shale and I defeated one of them together and then we were able to activate three of the pedestals because once you do 500 damage then the eyes glow blue and the spirits and standing in front of the heads are healed but since we were able to do it quickly the eyes start to bleed so when the eyes start to bleed they've already taken a thousand damage and then when the eyes close they take in a thousand five hundred so each head has a thousand five hundred damage well hp to them and that's a pretty difficult one because all of the spirits are lieutenants or quote-unquote lieutenant class so they all have the yellow bars and their names are written in yellow but for that we get these three chests the spear shard greater health pulls and greater spear balm and a ton of potions wow i was about to say man that spear shard was kind of weak <laughs> But here we go. Potent health polis, two greater health pulses, a health polis, a greater lyrium potion, two lyrium potions, and two injury kits. And since I was the only one to die, we Task don't is really finished. Need it. But nice, nice, get going, team. I'm proud. Okay, I'm going to save. Because while I am proud, I also don't want to do that again. Yeah, so there's nothing else that you get from Defeating those heads, unfortunately. I feel like you should get, like... I feel like you should get something really cool. Because that's a really difficult boss. So ending it quickly is probably for the best. My name is Carradin. Once, longer ago than I care to think, I was a paragon to the dwarves of Orzammar. Carradin? Oh my god. The paragon smith? Alive? Ah, there is a voice I recognize. Shell of the House of Kadash, step forward. You know my name. Is it you that forged me then? Is it you that gave me my name? Have you forgotten then? Ah, it has been so long. I made you into the golem you are now, Shale. But before that you were a dwarf, just as I was. The finest warrior to serve King Valtor, and the only woman to volunteer. The only woman? A dwarf? I laid you on the anvil of the Void, here in this very room, and put you into the form you now possess. The anvil of the Void. That is what we seek. If you seek the anvil, then you must care about my story, or be doomed to relive it. You made the anvil, I take it? Though I made many things in my time, I rose to fame and earned my status. 
based on a single item, the Anvil of the Void. It allowed me to forge a man of steel or stone as flexible and clever as any soldier. As an army, they were invincible, but I told no one the cost. No mere smith, however skilled, has the power to create life. To make my golems live, I had to take their lives from elsewhere. Oh. Okay, one, jumping back. Man, Keridin's alive. Two, all right. So, Shell was a dwarf. Okay. And Shell was the only female warrior to be turned into a golem. A dire shortcut. Was it worth it? So said my king. I had only intended to use volunteers, but he was not satisfied. And soon a river of blood flowed out of this place. Finally, it was too much. I refused. And so Valtor had me put on the anvil next. Dang. Alright, I wasn't expecting that. I mean, but... At what cost? We'd just be revealing what he went through. You need dwarves. Well, you need... I don't actually know if it's just dwarves. But you need souls to power these golems. Souls from these people. Souls from people. To power golems. You don't just get golems out of thin air. I mean, in a way, I guess you could find souls elsewhere, but would they be stable enough? And when I say souls elsewhere, you know, the Fade, but then again, the Fade does tricky things. It's like wishing on a genie and hoping that your wish turned out right. It's not always as it seems, and it's not always going to turn out right. So you sealed it away. Or as Mark could use it. No! I entombed myself here to find a way to destroy the Anvil. It must not be used again! No! The Anvil is mine! No one will take it from me! Shale, the owner's you fought to destroy the Anvil once. Do not allow it to fall into unthinking hands again! You speak of things I do not remember. You say we fought. Did you use our control rods to command us to do so? I destroyed the rods. Perhaps my apprentices eventually learned to replace the rods. I do not know. But if so, then all they need is the anvil to make all the slaves they need. You, please, help me destroy the anvil. Do not let it enslave more souls than it already has. You are a paragon. I'll help you if you support a new king. Don't listen! He's been trapped here for a thousand years, stewing in his own madness. Help me claim the anvil, and you will have an army like you've never seen! Bronca, you mad, bleeding nugtail! Does this thing mean so much to you that you can't even see what you've lost to get it? Look around. Is this what our empire should look like? A crumbling tunnel filled with dark spawn spume? The anvil will let us take back our glory! The anvil enslaves living souls. It must be destroyed. So it fights with Caradin? Good. That seems right. Thank you, stranger. Your compassion shames me. No! You will not take it! Not while I still live! Ronka, don't throw your life away for this! So... At this point... Well, I'm pretty sure we've passed this point. We have to choose either side. We can either choose to side with Bronca, or we can choose to side with Keridin. Of course, siding with Bronca means that the Anvil of the Void gets to still be around. Siding with Keridin means we get to destroy it. So, for right now, I'm going to side with Keridin. We have to destroy the Anvil, Bronca. Just give her the blasted thing. She's confused. Maybe once she calms down, we can talk to her. That's not a risk I'm willing to take. Bah! You're not the only master smith here, Caradin. Golems, obey me! Attack! Oh, she's got a control rod. A control rod? But, my friend, you must help me. I cannot stop her alone. We, we must should not do something exhaust our quickly. supplies. <laughs> <laughs> 
I shall do it, as you say. It is begun. Very well, as you say. I shall do it. It shall be done. It is begun. Very well. You don't know what. I shall do it. As you say. Now we do battle! Me. No quarter shall be given. It shall be done. You must be <laughs> Very well. It is begun. She was fighting all those goons on her own. <laughs> no, no, no. You're not going anywhere, honey. You're not going anywhere. You don't know what I'm As you say, it is your prayer. Up, oh, Ogren's dead. Shoot. Nothing but a I shall do it. It shall be done. And that's Falka. I shall do it. Oh, I don't know where Ogren is. Does anyone else see him? Pick him up on the I'll map somewhere. I mean, sure, kill it, but you know. To find Ogren. Oh well, I guess it can't be helped. This comes to this, doesn't it? All right, on Bronca we get Vanguard, which is a mace plus three to strength, plus three to constitution, plus two to stamina, regeneration, and combat. Before leading her house into the deep roads, Bronca forged and infused this masterwork weapon with tireless, if single-minded devotion. This weapon in hand, she had, she would lead her people to the anvil of the void or die trying. Well, sorry, Bronca. Uh, dwarven massive armored gloves. Nice, nice. Uh, Bronca shield. With plus four to damage versus dark spawn, plus two damage versus beast. Paragon Bronca has made this for her own use in the deep roads. It is marvelously lightweight, as if made from cloth instead of metal. The seal of House Bronca appears on the face. And a expert Dwemer rune. Uh, okay, so... Listen to me. He's just over there. Okay. Oh, and a stone golem. Oh, a golem registry. You see a large stone tablet chipped with age with a great number of dwarven runes. Carved into the f carved into its surface. Examine the tablet more closely. The writing is in Dwarven and appears to be a long list of names, each with a stamp of their house next to them. You recognize a few of the house names. Continue. At the bottom of the list are the words: "We honor those who have made this sacrifice. Let their names be remembered." The carvings are still deep enough that the tracing could be taken allowing the information to be carried elsewhere. Uh, okay, so we can ask any of them. We'll ask Ogren. Ogren, what is this? Can you tell? <sighs> Names. Long list of dwarves. Wait, wait, hold on. We honor who have made this sacrifice. Let their names be remembered. Fart me a lullaby. It's Ew. a memorial. Of all the dwarves who became golems, has to be. If there was some way of getting this back to the Shaper at Norzimar, I bet they'd brown their trousers and pay good gold for it. Mm, probably both. Uh, Shale, do you recognize this at all? No. Perhaps it thinks I should. It may have something to do with Caradin's words. If there is some way to make a copy of these runes, I am willing to study them. Perhaps there is something to be gleaned from them. I know not. Alright, so we can take a tracing of the tablet. 
The ancient runes are traced into a stack of papers, which you store in your pack. I didn't have any paper. I didn't have any charcoal. I don't know how she did it. And it looks like she just kind of waved her hand. But however you did it, you did it. Continue. We get the golden registry. And we get the registry rubbings in our pack. Uh, there's... Oh, no, there's nothing behind it. It's just glowing a lot. Alright, we can talk to Keridin. Another life lost because of my invention. I wish no mention of it had made it into history. Yeah, you ain't kidding. Stupid woman. Always knew the anvil would kill her. How is it that the woman was not able to disable me as she did you, Caradin? I do not know. Have you been altered? I once had a pathetic little mage of a master. He did something to me, experimented on me, and then I killed him, and it rendered me paralyzed. Hmm. Perhaps he was bringing forth old memories, and caused you to remember the time when you fought at my side. The paralysis you speak of always resulted when the master perished. As for your free will, you were always a strong woman, Shell. I am pleased to see you remain such. I don't know what to say. Thank you. Oh, do not thank me. All of this, this is my doing, my legacy. But at least it ends here. I thank you for standing with me, stranger. The anvil waits there for you to shatter it. It was good to meet you, Paragon. I intend to ensure that your warnings about the golems are heard by the Circle of Magi. Is there any boon I can grant you for your aid? A final favor before I am freed from my burden? Um, well... Ogren, you lost Bronca to this. What do you want? Yeah. I don't suppose you can bring Bronca back. Maybe make her a golem like you? I would not do such a thing to her, even if I could. Somehow I didn't think so. Well, and I don't want anything that would remind me of this. Best it's just done. There is still the matter of the election. I mean, we still need a paragon to get the assembly support, right? For the aid you've given me. I shall put Hammer to steel one last time, and give you a crown for the king of your choice. Oh, so we finally got a look at the Anvil of the Void. The Anvil of the Void is an lyrium filled well, weaved anvil. And it's truly a marvel, really. When you think you can't do anything, just remember, Keridin made a crown on the anvil while being golem. You can do anything. If he can make a tiny little crown, you can do anything. There, it is done. Give it to whom you will. I do not wish to hear their names, nor anything more of them. I have already lived far beyond my time. I have no place here. I will destroy the anvil, as agreed. That would please me, human. Okay, I guess that did it. Just hit it really hard. You have my eternal thanks, stranger. A trust in all Tungsha. May you always find your way in the dark. Okay, so... Yes, there's that minus 10. There's no way to negate that at all during the conversation. But if you ask 
ask him if he wants a boon, it will offset by minus three. When Keridin commits suicide, then it will jump to plus seven. But that is one way to resolve this quest. Going back to a previous save. Okay, and here's where we arrive at that point again. So instead of trying to side with Keridin, we are going to side with Bronca. I needed to bargain with Bronca. I won't make golems. As long as the anvil exists, it may be used to create slaves, and it will be used. Why seek a more difficult path when another, easier path is available? Help me destroy it! Bronca can use it to help me against the Blight. No one should be given dominion over another's soul. If anyone should know that best, it is a golem. It is powerful, yes, but at far too high a price. The anvil is needed. That is my order. I cannot allow you to do this, stranger. To me, golems! Defend the anvil, whatever the cost! I cannot be party to this. Caradon, I am yours to command. Okay, and with this, we have to not only fight Caradon and the golems, we also have to fight Shale if we bring her with us. I shall do it. It is the as you say. Come, let us go. It shall be done. I shall do it. It is the gun. I shall do it. Very well. As you say, it shall be done. I shall do it. It is the gun. This is the end! Very well. Oh my gosh. Please heal. We must fight. Gotta go through a ton of potions. I shall do it. All right, Karen's down. Now we just have to fight this Lieutenant Golem. I am exhausted. Very well. Dang it! Out of stamina. I shall do it. And this other lieutenant Golem. It shall be done. I don't even oh. Did Bronca? No, she didn't even help. So it was just us three. Because we also killed Shale. Alright, so after defeating Keridin, we find Keridin's shield, which is plus ten percent to cold resistance, plus ten percent to electricity resistance, plus ten percent to spirit resistance. This was made by Paragon Keridan himself. The design is descriptive, descriptively ordinary, but the shield is flawlessly smooth and perfectly round. The metal is warm as if it's taken from the forge. Oh, as if just taken from the forge. And then we find Keridan's, Keridan's cage, plus 10% to electricity resistance and minus one to cunning. A chambered pendant that guides any incoming charge around the central stone an intricate work of engineering oh interesting too bad for that minus one the cunning and then four sovereign and 24 copper uh do we find shale there she is <laughs> oh cut it out bronca she had a lot of nerve saying that he was doing in his madness when she'd only been down here for two years and she'd gone completely bonkers Can't stand it. Alright, anything else? Spirit shard. Do 
sure that we can go up here and look at it? Oh, there's a chest. All right. Oh, shock coating. Um, some lyrium dust. Dwarven round, large round shield. Um, medium silver bar. A diamond. All right. Yeah, we can take that all. Going up to it. Oh, we can inspect the anvil of the void. The anvil glows like liquid metal from the lyrium vein through it. But dark stains is test the bloody path. It is built straight out of the stone of the floor. Trying to move it would require years to chip away at its base. So it's hecka sturdy. Okay. And that was our look at the anvil of the void. So if you bring Shale with you, she will automatically turn hostile. Like when and Liliana do when you defile the... Um, the urn of sacred ashes. The only way to negate that is to leave her at the party and maybe you can talk her out of it or she'll still get mad and will leave. But you don't have to fight her and she won't die. It is possible to kill your companion, people. It is possible. Okay, talking to Bronca. Here it is! The anvil of the void! So sweet! Such power! You found the anvil. Are you happy now? Maybe we could go back to Orzammar, share the good news. Look at it. It was worth it. All of it. The anvil is everything I thought it would be. I... I should have known. I thought that once you had the anvil, you'd be satisfied. Perhaps I could use it now. A reward for defeating Caradon. You wanted a crown, no? Or have you set your sights higher than the petty kings of Orzammar? Okay, so at this moment we hit another crossroad. We could leave her to her own devices, or we can actually let her know that what she's done and what she's doing is terrible. And both of these choices like affect the ending of the game in a way. All I want is for you to see how wrong you've been. You showed which side you were on when you destroyed that golem. Don't get all high and mighty now. I'll make you the crown. Take it to Orzammar and dispose of it as you will. There it is. An ugly lump of hot metal to go over a couple of empty heads. Now leave. It will take me some time to fully realize the mysteries here. The anvil is evil, Bronca. You can't keep using it. I can hear it. It wants to be used again. It speaks in a hundred different voices. Surely you can hear them. You mean the voices of all the dead souls trapped inside? The dead? You think that's who I hear? But... No! It's the anvil, calling to be used! Did you hear what Caradon said? Hundreds of people were bound into golems, trapped inside the anvil when their bodies were destroyed. That's who you hear! No! It's not true! You lie! Think clearly and ask yourself where its power comes from. But I will not believe that was Caradon. Caradon would never turn on his own invention. He was a genius. The best of us all. He must have been wrong. The anvil was Orzammar's salvation. Caradon was ready to die to see the anvil destroyed. The voices, they've been calling to me for so long, and I didn't even... Oh, Hespeth tried to tell me, but I wouldn't listen. You have to make this right. The Bronca I knew would do what is right. The anvil must be destroyed. It's an abomination. Go. Return to Orzammar. It's better they never know what became of me.
And with that, Paragon Branca makes a crown for us to take back to the assembly and also commit suicide. He was right, this place is filled with despair. Okay, so you can keep her alive and the anvil will still be here. Or you can convince her to destroy the anvil in which way in which she will commit suicide, like Keridin does. Cool, we can just go straight to Orton Tai and deposit this. I thought it would go straight there, but no. And we're walking. And we're walking. I wonder if Algren's gonna be like, whoa, this isn't the assembly. What's going on? I have to deliver a sword. So, I have a question for you, dwarf. Oh, <laughs> sounds like you're passing a stone there. <laughs> get it? Passing a stone? I do get it, yes. My question is this. Have the Anvil of the Void not been destroyed? Does it believe the Dwarves would have used it? You mean to create more golems? Oh yes. Faster than you could squish a nug. Even knowing the agony that it caused, they would still inflict it on others? No need to inflict it. There'd be plenty ready and willing to sign up, just as you did. There's fewer and fewer of us each year, and the Darkspawn never run out. If it meant saving Orzammar, there'd be plenty who'd become a golem, sure. Does it think it was wrong to destroy the Anvil, then? <sighs> no. Sometimes people need to be kept from doing stupid things, even for good reasons. It is referring to its former wife? I think some statues should sod off and ask their sodded questions to someone else. Aw. But that is a good thing to note. I didn't even think to think about it in a dwarven kind of perspective, because the dwarves do have to deal with the darkspawn more than anyone on the surface. If they could have golems, maybe they could turn the tide and probably push back the golems, I mean, push back the dark spawn even further. But who knows, really. Alright, Warrior's Grave. And the quest is completed, and we receive an item. Oh, top side is honor, okay. Uh, plus 20% to spirit resistance, plus 6 damage versus undead, 3 slots for runes, alright. The inscription on the blade reads, There must always be another to take up arms against the darkness. That is the core of true family beyond kin, and the unifying link that will bring day to night and allow the fallen to rest. Alright, so we have rested his weary bones, and... Returned his sword in which we got it back as an item that we could use. Okay, thank you. We will carry this with us always. Alright, cool. Since I was able to go back, actually, and return the sword, that means the only quest that we have left in the Deep Roads is the Legion of the Dead one. Well, that Ganguin um shade that shade quest thing in the mausoleum that room with the altar so we'll come back and do that later once we find someone who's able to wear the armor because while we do have the armor we only have three warriors who are able to wield it well wear it and only i think only one who's actually able to wear it so we'll just have to see we'll have to come back in our next episode, we will deliver the crown to the assembly and we will choose a king. Finally, we will be done. Hallelujah. So, yeah. Until next time.